What's up YouTube? Hope you are doing fine. So I got my brand new Sony ZV-E10 and I decided to make a review video of it. And I said that it could, would be better to uh, be a vlog because this camera is mainly intended for vloggers. So in this video, I'm going to uh, explain some of the pro pros and cons of this camera, which I found in uh, the first days of using it in a vlogging manner. So you can see how this camera performs and uh, you will also find uh, some of the tests which I do in this video. I'm going to do a audio comparison between the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the internal microphone at this camera. And also I will do the stabilization test to see how the stabilization of the lens, which is a 16 to 50 OSS versus the active stabilization performs. And I will also shoot some photos at the end uh, to see how this lens performs, this, this kit lens performs on the Sony ZV-10. For the people who just want to use this kit lens and they have not the intention to buy another lens, so we can see how this kit lens performs on the Sony ZV-10. So let's start with the pros and cons of this camera. So let's start with the pros of this camera. The first thing which I need to mention is that how light and small this camera is and it is just perfect for vlogging. Your hands would not get tired and it feels really good to vlog with this camera and this is my first experience of vlogging. I am really loving this. The second good thing about this camera is the stunning video quality. As you see here, we have 4K 30 frames per second, 4K 24 frames per second and you are getting the same quality as the A6400, A6600 because it has the same sensor in its body and this sensor has a great quality both in photo and video. And the autofocus performance of this camera is just stunning because it has the latest autofocus technology from the Sony. It has the IAF in video even and now right now it is locked on my eye and it has the best uh, autofocus performance and I really love the autofocus performance in this camera. It's just even better than my Sony a7 III which is really nice. Another good and pro feature of this camera is that it has picture profiles like HLG3, S-Log2, S-Log3 and right now I am shooting in HLG3 and which is a really nice feature which you get in this uh, ZV-10 camera which the price is just really awesome and you get these tons of great features which is really nice. You also have the 24 megapixel sensor like the A6400, A6600, it's an APS-C sensor and it is also great for photography and you can get some good photos with this camera if you attach a good lens on it and it is just awesome that we have the option for photography too. Another awesome feature of this camera is active stabilization which is the latest technology from Sony in stabilizing the footage. You can use the Catalyst Browse software from Sony to stabilize the footage. In this footage, right now I am using the active stabilization. In the before shots, I was using the OSS of the lens and right now I am using the active stabilization. Let's see how this performs. I should go home and uh, stabilize this footage to see how this performs. And this is one of the great pros of this camera too. Now let's talk about some of the cons which I found with this camera. One of them is that the top buttons of this camera is not really tactile and not as the same as the back buttons. Back buttons are good, but the top buttons doesn't feel uh, so good when pressing them. It, they are not tactile and I really do not like the feeling of them. Another con of this camera is that the grip is really small and it is okay because this camera is mainly intended for vlogging and not for photography but if you are going to shoot some photos with this camera it wouldn't feel so good like the bigger cameras like the Sony a7 III and uh, you'd better buy some uh, bigger lenses to have the grip at least on the lens so you can uh, shoot better photos and you have a better photography experience. And again, if you are using a heavy lens with this camera, be sure, be sure to hold the lens instead of holding the camera because the lens mount on this uh, camera is not really sturdy and strong. So you'd better hold the lens if you are using a heavy lens on this uh, tiny ZV-10. Battery life is not the best on the Sony ZV-10. It's not bad. It would give you around 100 minutes of 4K recording. It is good, but you'd better get some extra MPFW50 batteries for this ZV-10. Another con that I found with the ZV-10 is that it has some uh, autofocus issues in S-Log2 and 3, like the Sony a7 III. It has also the autofocus issues in S-Log2 and 3. 
I don't know why, because this has the latest autofocus technology from Sony, but again, I found some uh, S-Log 2 or 3 uh, photofocus issues in video, so I have to mostly use the HLG3 profile like my Sony a7 III. Another big issue which a lot of people are talking about is the rolling shutter. Uh, when you pan the camera really fast, uh, it would give you so much rolling shutter, but again, I do not know how much this would affect your real-time, uh, real-life uh, performance. Uh, I did not found really much issues. It, the, what, uh, the rolling shutter is really bad, I accept it, but in real life, uh, I do not see any problem with this and I am okay with it. And the last con which I want to talk about is the lack of uh, custom buttons. This camera does not have so many custom buttons like my Sony a7 III. It has three C1, C2, C3, three custom buttons but this just has one custom button and this camera is mainly intended for vlogging again so we cannot uh, say anything about it it is okay it's not for photography so this is not a major con but i uh, said it would be better to mention this in this video now let's do an stabilization test i will do this test three times one with stabilization off one time with lens oss a standard stabilization and one time with the active stabilization to see how this uh, camera performs. So let's go. Now the stabilization is off. Let's walk. Now let's run. Now let me uh, stop the recording and turn the standard stabilization on. Now the standard stabilization, which is the lens OSS, is on. And now let's walk. Let's run. Now let me change it to active stabilization. Now the active stabilization is on, we have a crop. And now let's walk. And now let's run. Now let's test the audio and to see how the microphone of this camera performs against my Rode Wireless Go 2. As you know, the Sony has really focused on the microphone of this camera because it is uh, intended for vlogging, so it should have a good microphone at least. I don't know how it sounds. I will switch to the different audios from the uh, microphone of the ZV-10 to the Rode Wireless Go 2 while I am talking, so you could see how the uh, audio of the microphone of the ZV-10 performs against the Rode Wireless Go 2. I hope it has a good microphone for the people who don't want, do not want to invest on the Rode Wireless Go 2. So let's see how it performs. Now let me shoot some photos with this 16 to 50 millimeter lens and maybe some videos so we can see how this 16 to 50 millimeter lens performs. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you like this review and vlogging. This is my first experience in vlogging, so tell me your opinions in the comment section. So I should do more vlogs or not, and I will be seeing you in my next videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.